Now when you come down to the blues, now you just sit here and watch me. Hey everybody, it's Chris, your blues guy. Welcome back to Blues Guy Vinyl. Cheers. How's it going, eh? Thanks for tuning in, joining me here today. Um, how you doing? It's happening, baby. Thanks for uh, coming by. Thank you. The heck is that, right? Um, bear with me. Uh, today's video is going to be my dad's record collection that he kindly, so generously and lovingly passed down to me oh, uh, on Christmas Day. For those of you that are new and uh, haven't been around for the past couple of months, you're kind of new here to the channel, first of all. Hello, welcome. Secondly, uh, on Christmas Day, I was visiting my parents. Uh, another little little small town north of Calgary here, right there. And uh, mom and dad said, son, you know, go downstairs, grab one of them Apple boxes, take our records and our 45 RPM 7 inch singles. Take them and go. Take them and take them with you. Enjoy them, son. I thought that was amazing. I've gone through the records. I shared some with my sister and with my brother. But basically, I kept the bulk of them because I'm a greedy bastard. No, this is basically a loving parent's gift to their to their son for the holidays, and uh, I thought it was great. So I went through and I've separated my dad's albums from my mom's albums. And today I'm going to show my dad's albums, or formerly my dad's, uh, a vinyl loving father's gift to his son. First of all, what's playing in the background? Paradise Frame. This is, I don't know, some weird one-off indie record from Montreal. Uh, in front of my dad's back east, was a musician, had a recording studio, and he recorded, mixed, and he plays all the instruments on this and all that. And uh, yeah, it's from uh, 1978. And it came with this little blurb here. Uh, everything... Uh, Written, arranged, performed, and recorded by Hugh Dixon. Using all these instruments, so on and so forth. Yeah. So there you go. It takes dangerous turns into disco territory, which many of you who have been around here for a while are well aware of. I'm not a, much of a fan of the whole disco thing, but be that as it may, I remember this from when I was a kid, and my parents used to throw a lot of parties, and I remember this being on the stereo for one of those parties, New Year's, Halloween, whatever. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into some of this. My dad was a huge surf rock guy, which is weird, because you can't really surf in Montreal. But anyway, the very best of the ventures, great album. Some of these you may have seen before. Some of them perhaps not. This is on United Artists. And it's great. It's like it says, you know, uh, best of or greatest hits. It's got Walk Don't Run, uh, Tequila, Apache, uh, Telstar, Wipeout. Yeah, great. Again, I remember this as a kid, uh, for sure. This was uh, something that played very often. My dad would just put it on when he was putting around doing stuff around the house, you know, on, on his day off over the weekend, you know. Yeah, definitely. Good stuff. I, I like it. So I, I, I see why my dad likes it, but again, the whole surfing thing, I mean, obviously, you don't have to be a surfer or live anywhere near where they're surfing to be a fan of music. I'm just kind of goofing around, but yeah, I dig it. And obviously, my dad was huge into the Beach Boys. There's a schwack of Beach Boys here. So there's a Surfer Girl on uh, Capo. These are going to be Canadian pressings. 
capital rainbow. And uh, yeah, this says Surfer Girl on it. Uh, little Deuce Coop in my room. I remember Dad playing all of these, especially in the summer. For some reason, I guess he equated this type of music with summertime and summertime stuff, which makes sense, you know, cruising, heading to the beach. I mean, we had beaches in Montreal. Just uh, I don't remember ever seeing anybody surfing. Maybe there were. I don't know. But my dad grew up on a farm in rural Quebec, out uh, you know, maybe half an hour, an hour outside of Montreal. So definitely not a lot of surfing on the creek behind the old family farm where my dad grew up and was listening to this stuff. Uh, shut down volume two. Fun, fun, fun. Shut down part two. Denny's drums. I remember that one. Dad likes those. Dad likes the drummers. Song that had good, good drumming, good a cool drum solo, anything like that. Dad enjoyed it. Dad enjoyed it very much. Uh, Beach Boys all summer long. These are all in, you know, relatively good shape. I mean, Dad took care of his records pretty well. Mom really looked after hers. And I'll have to do, obviously, a part two. To show you mums, and that might even be a two-parter because she was uh, she was crazy with the vinyl. So uh, probably twice as many as what I'm going to show you here, and there's like 15 or so Dad's records. So yeah, I, should, I would just have such fond memories of all these Beach Boy albums. This is Summer Days. And I kissed her. Uh, Help me, Rhonda. My I think my dad's favorite Beach Boys tune is Help Me, Rhonda. That or Little Deuce Coop. My dad wasn't much of a rug cutter. He didn't like to dance too, too much. But you get a couple of uh, wobbly pops in him and put on Help Me, Rhonda or Little Deuce Coop. You get up there. You get up there and uh, polish the parquet. Parquet flooring. Best of Beach Boys. Even with all those, I'm not really sure why you need the best of, but Dad, a bit of a completist with the Beach Boys, I guess. Surfing USA, that's a wave, Surfer Girl, there it is, Little Deuce Coop, Little Honda, Louie Louie. And Best of Boy 2. This is a really nice shape, this one. Bob Ran, 409. I like Barbara Ann in 409 actually. But Barbara Ann, I really liked that one. So the capital. This capital label here. It's kind of cool. I remember seeing that. Dual phonic for stereo. I never remember seeing that. It's Starline Capital. New to me. Is this the last Beach Boys? Yeah, this is the last Beach Boys. Smile and smile. You know, Dad loved good vibrations too. That was another one of his favorites from the Beach Boys. That was another one that would get him to get up, shake, shake his ass a little bit. Mom was always pestering him to get up and dance all the time. Uh, okay, that, yeah, that was it for the Beach Boys. Get in some, some soul and some R&B here a little bit. This is always spreading pain in my heart. Dad liked the vocals. Drums, vocals, that, that was his thing. But uh, Pain in My Heart, Stand By Me, You Send Me. Really nice shape. I think I showed this already. I don't know if I showed the vinyl or not, though. Maybe just the cover. It's an echo. But yeah, beautiful record. And always read a beautiful voice. Moving from uh, soul and R&B to uh, a little more bluesy. I wasn't sure if this was my mom's or my dad's, but when talking to dad, he said that he said this was his when I was talking to dad. 
Steve Miller Band, greatest hits. Let's see, a Swing Town, and Jungle Love, and Money and Run. The Joker, and Fly Like an Eagle, of course. You know, all that good sort of poppy R&B or rhythm and blues type blues for Steve Miller. I love it, I do. And this is probably why I, I love all Steve Miller stuff, Steve Miller band stuff, whether it's his earlier sort of more psych blues stuff, or whether it's his more poppy, sort of stepping out of the blues a little bit, you know, this kind of thing. To me, it's all good. And this is probably why I was hearing this as a kid growing up, you know. What we got here? Uh, two left. Moving into some harder stuff, more, again, blues influenced, but more on the heavy side. You know, one of the founding bands of what would later be called, you know, heavy metal, sort of proto-metal band, I guess. Deep Purple. Although they, I've heard they themselves don't consider them, a, you know, sort of a pre-metal band. But, uh, yeah, Machine Head. This is an early reissue. It's a second, maybe a second pressing. And again, a Canadian pressing. All of these are going to be Canadian pressings. But I think on this Warner label, I don't know, I haven't really done any. People burp on the computer! Looking the stuff up. I've just been cleaning them up and uh, just sort of listening, reminiscing, looking at them. So. I'm not sure on that one, but I think it's a, it's not an OG anyway. And then lastly, from the old man, Deep Purple in Rock. Again, beautiful. Again, I think this, again, it's a Canadian person, but I think this is, again, an earlier reissue. I think it's on that same corner label. Yeah. Pretty sure that the uh, OGs were a weird green label, I think. I don't know. Anyway, let me know down in the comments. Speaking of which, it's gonna do it here for your blues guy for my dad's old LPs. Anyway, uh, there's some 45s, and I've shown some already. And uh, yeah, in the next couple of weeks, I'll go through and organize the records I got from my dear old Ma and uh, share some of those with you. In the meantime, Speaking of down below, you know, do all the YouTube things, keep digging, keep spinning, and take care, and until the next one, have a good one, all right? Oh, yeah, I've got my new uh, Junior Wells t-shirt, by the way. Check that out. Amos Blake Moore Jr., Mr. Junior Wells, the Hoodoo Man. Huh? Huh? Mm. Cheers.